close your eyes and sense this as a pause. Reawaken your senses. Listening to the sounds that are here. Opening to the sensations in your body. Feeling the movement of the life breath, the inflow, the outflow. And from this place of presence, scanning your life and sensing where you might be habitually moving on your way to trouble, where you feel that you're in some way moving towards something you fear. It may be something to do with work, some fear of failure at work or it may be that something that you're afraid of in a relationship with another person something you're afraid you're going to miss out on where is the habit that feels like a trance of fear where you get more contracted or you lose contact with really what matters to you, with creativity, with open-heartedness. Sense where you get small, anxious, and, and just recognize in that particular situation what kind of thoughts go on in your mind. What do you worry about? What are you afraid is going to happen? What are you believing is wrong? sensing the trance of fear and to begin to unfurl this wing of mindful presence you might inquire, well, what's it like? What does the fear feel like? What most wants attention? What most feels vulnerable? Let the attention drop, the awareness drop into the body, the throat, the chest, the belly. You're inviting that vulnerability to make its presence known. An interested and friendly attention, an intimate attention. You might note whatever you become aware of maybe a clenching in the chest or tightness or a pressure, squeezing in the throat, tightness in the belly. You might mentally whisper the words fear or shame or if it feels unpleasant, unpleasant. feels very strong and intense, you might sense making some space for what's here, letting it sit next to you or sensing the world around you so you remember a larger space. But 
stay in communication with the vulnerability. What does it most need? What's the flavor of care that it needs? Maybe forgiveness or acceptance, compassion, love? What would help this fearful place to heal? We awaken the wing of loving by in some way offering care to this vulnerability. For some the most direct way is just to put a hand on the heart gently and sense that we do care and sending that loving energy in and you might experiment with that, just the touch being tender and light and just offering, just saying, I care, I'm here, I'm not leaving. And if it helps to imagine someone who cares about you and loves you, just the atmosphere and sense of their love also flowing through your hands right into the vulnerability. And maybe you can feel the loving filling you so that it's as if you're really dissolving your whole body and being in a loving way right into the place of vulnerability, really giving love fully. For some you might be imagining your high self or your future self. This very awake heart-mind, very tenderly bathing the fearful place with love. sensing your own experience of your own being as you bring these wings of mindful presence and love to the vulnerability, sensing that natural opening out of the vulnerable, scared self and into presence itself, loving presence. And you might widen the attention to sense many others with you right this moment for those that are sitting here or those that are practicing at other times listening to this, all of us together meeting fear with loving presence. Sensing who we are together when we're meeting fear with loving presence. getting to know this fearless, boundless heart space that can include the waves of fear. Often on the spiritual path the metaphor is climbing a mountain and transcending fear, but instead We're practicing going in and in and in. Rumi speaks of night travelers who turn towards the darkness and are willing to know their own fear. He says, sit with your friends, don't go back to sleep. Life's water flows from darkness. Search the darkness, don't run from it. Night travelers are full of light, 
and you are too. Don't leave this companionship. <laughs>